Hey, good evening, folks. Welcome back to Deer Corner. Glad to see you here this evening. It's going to be a very, very peaceful night here at the fire pit. And uh, glad you all come along and enjoy yourself. We've got a dog down in the valley barking. So it won't be long, the coyotes will be going at it. But up here in the mountains, we're right at the base of the Smoky Mountains here, that uh, every year somebody gets lost. Every year somebody gets injured and they have to be airlifted out. And yes, every year somebody passes away from a fall or they drown. So when you're up here in the mountains and you're not used to it, God, be safe. Be safe because this is a whole different way of living up here. And a previous video, there's things up here I can't explain that happen. And that I just can't explain them. So, if you're up here backpacking, camping, hiking, just be safe and don't let something that you hear or thought you heard think things out before you make a decision. Um, a year or two a year ago it was last year we had all that rain we got in late um, we were working over here on a food plot taking out some tree stumps we got in here just about now and got the grill started Get going to cook some burgers on the grill and and uh, the temperature dropped like it is right now. But the thing about the fog up here, the fog's actually the clouds. And you can be up here on the porch and looking down, and you're actually looking on top of a cloud. And it was thick. It was coming up down from the bottom. And it was like a ghost slowly creeping up. Actually, it's pretty neat looking. And uh, I started hearing some sounds of like something walking, something following that fog coming up from the bottom down here. It's kind of like a horror movie. The fog's coming up to get you. And the critters are in the fog and they're going to get you. But it wasn't a thump. It wasn't a crack. It was a. It was like a muffled walking. And I was up at the grill. I lit the grill and heard it. Didn't think nothing about it. Oh, well. And then I came out and checked the grill. And I'm looking. It's getting pretty dark about then. And uh, let me put some more wood in the fire. And uh, it was uh, Anyway, I put a little more wood in the fire. And it was getting louder. And at first I thought it was getting closer. 
And I really, you know, I really didn't think much about it. But when I went back in, we were sitting there talking. And I came out and put the burgers on. And I kept hearing it. And I couldn't see nothing. Finally shined the light down there and all you could see was the fog. Fog coming up. But you heard that thumping noise. And it was getting louder. So I said, well, there's something out there. I didn't know what it was. So cooked up the burgers and brought them in. We ate. And we came, Both of us came out on the porch. And you can hear it. And by then the fog started going back down the hill. The temperature was changing. And finally you could start seeing the trees in the bottom. But you still heard that thumping noise. But it, it did. It sounded like somebody walking, but it was a muffled walk at a, at a pace. So we got the flashlights out, and we started walking down to it. And we were talking about it, and we were joking. It was Bigfoot, and it's Sasquatch, it's the Lizard Man. We were joking about it. And we got down there, and what it was, was when the fog came in, now that fog was heavy, had a lot of moisture in it. And the trees and the leaves and the low branches and were just soaked with water. And what it was, was water dripping off of a branch onto what I call it, we planted them, they're called, I call them elephant plants, elephant leaf plants, big old leaf. They have a big leaf on them. And water was dripping and hitting them leaves and made like a drum sound. Um, but I've never heard it before. But at the time, you didn't see it. You didn't know what it was. It was I couldn't explain the sound, but there again, I didn't let my imagination get away from me. And we actually went to check to see what it was, and we found out it was nothing but droplets of water landing on an elephant leaf plant and making that noise. And, and to me, that was just amazing how something like that could actually get somebody scared, pack up and run. The next thing you know, Bigfoot's after chasing you down. But I think that's just a funny story I bring up. And it's just things that happen up here that uh, they're unexplained, but everything has an answer. But I guess you have to search for it. And uh, by God, if you get up here in the mountains, especially up in here, and you're not experienced. Now, I grant you, when I started coming up here, I was from the flatlands. I had nothing, I didn't know nothing about it. But fortunately, my hunting partner, a good friend of mine, I mean, he's kind of the caretaker here, and I'm not around. Um, he born and lived up here all his life. And he kind of showed me quite a few things. And over the past 25, seven years, I've learned a whole lot. And it's just a totally different life here in the mountains. So if it's your first time up here, be careful. Don't go anywhere you don't want to go. Don't go anywhere that's going to make be unsafe. 
don't take the risk. Uh, especially today. A lot of people want to take these selfie pictures. And up here, trying to get that great selfie picture, you can slip and fall. Just for that one picture. Get injured or killed. Just for that one picture. Don't take that risk. It's not worth it. But be careful. And I'm glad you're with me. I'm going to have a nice peaceful night. I'm going to finish my coffee here at the fire. And hope for another beautiful morning like this morning. I'll see another morning. And I'm glad you're with me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or a comment. And I'll see you next time.